Hello and welcome to my initial thoughts on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. So we're going to talk about firstly is the I.O. on the MacBook. First of all, on the right hand side it has an SDXC card slot which is basically something to use so it reads SD cards and things like that. So if you are a photographer and you want to edit on this beautiful uh, retina display, this is probably one of the best choices uh, for editing. Then alongside that we have a HDMI port which mainly is used to just put an external monitor if you're editing. Then alongside that we have a USB 3 which is good because USB 3 is also available on um, any of the Macs, uh, Mac Pro sorry, and then we also have that on PC and on many laptops. Then on the left hand side we do have the MagSafe 2 which is the power uh, supply but it's also magnetic so it's less likely to just fall out. Then we have two Thunderbolt 2 ports which is unreal the speeds because you can get 20 uh, gigabytes gigabytes per second sorry of bandwidth each external drive so this means you can transfer data very quickly then we have another usb port usb 3 port alongside that then we have a headphone port right alongside the next thing i'd like to talk about is the multi-touch trackpad and the backlit keyboard the backlit keyboard is a pleasure to use on the macbook pro and i really enjoyed typing on it also, the multi-touch trackpad is excellent because in OX, OS X, it's um, been really uh, nice to have features implemented into the multi-touch trackpad. And I really do enjoy using and typing in general on this MacBook Pro. And if you do like a lot of typing, I would definitely suggest uh, just recommending using or buying one of these because they really are enjoyable to use. I'm not going to talk about the software much because I will be doing a full review of the MacBook and I would like to talk about it a lot there but I'm going to go run down a few things that I thought. First of all I think the software and the hardware is sort of made for each other once I was sort of using it and it feels like that they have been built for each other similar to iOS and having an iPhone they feel very built for each other as such. Then the next thing I have been sort I didn't really use that much because I don't have an iPhone to hand Mac and iOS have been integrated with continuity and this means that if you have a call on your iPhone and you want to pick it up on your Mac that is now possible. When using the Mac the OS felt really easy to use but I haven't really used it so it, for the first time I really did enjoy using it and I felt it quite easy and I liked the multi-type gestures really so just to go mission control you put all your fingers in I really enjoyed using that. Then really the next couple of things is just for everyday use I really felt that is a great device it just runs perfectly and I really enjoyed just browsing the web making a word document it felt really good also again if you because it's Apple you have iCloud and if you have an iPhone it will all link in or an iPad or anything it'll just link in because it has iCloud and the last thing I'm going to speak about a little bit more than normal is the compatibility with Windows if you don't like using OS X there is always the opportunity to go to bootcamp and then you can use Windows and this support is already built in and it's already got Microsoft Exchange servers built in and it makes all your stuff that you've got on your OS X and pull it over to Mac instantly without even having to do anything and this is supposed to be a really good way of having Windows on your Mac. I think it's on Mac Pro and Mac Mini as well which is really good because if people don't like using your software why don't you just use a massive software such as Windows it'll be fully fledged Windows 8 which is excellent and all you need to do is install it but apart from that thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time here at Top Tech Reviews don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys next time